a novena to St. John Paul II, Day 8. A Reflection by St. John Paul. Thus the great gift of redemption, our being brought forth to divine life, is a mighty work of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It must be received by us in faith, it must be lived, it must be proclaimed. O Blessed Trinity, we thank you for having graced the Church with St. John Paul II and for allowing the tenderness of your fatherly care, the glory of the cross of Christ, and the splendor of the Spirit of love to shine through him. Trusting fully in your infinite mercy and in the maternal intercession of Mary, he has given us a living image of Jesus the Good Shepherd. He has shown us that holiness is the necessary measure of ordinary Christian life and is the way of achieving eternal communion with you. Grant us, by his intercession and according to your will, the graces we implore through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray with St. John Paul II, a prayer he composed. Thanksgiving for the Eucharist. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast. O Christ the Savior, we give you thanks for your redeeming sacrifice, the only hope of men. O Christ the Savior, we give you thanks for the Eucharistic breaking of the bread, which you instituted in order to really meet your brothers in the course of the centuries. Christ the Savior put into the hearts of the baptized the desire to offer themselves with you and to commit themselves for the salvation of their brothers. You who are really present in the Blessed Sacrament, spread your blessings abundantly upon your people. Amen. St. John Paul II, pray for us. Amen. <laughs>